In this example, we will consider a plane with equation ax plus by plus cz equal to d in three-dimensional space. And we're interested in looking at finding the equation of a plane parallel to this through a specified point. And to see how to do this, if we call this first plane equation 1, then plane 1 has a normal vector of the form n ai plus bj plus ck. Now, how does this help us find the parallel plane? Well, if we're looking at two planes that are parallel to each other, they will actually both have the same normal vector perpendicular to them. So if they're parallel, it will actually intersect both our planes at right angles. So therefore, the parallel plane also has this normal vector. And what does this mean? Well, it means that since you'll notice that the coefficients of our normal vector, ABC, are the same as the coefficients of the left-hand side of the equation of the plane here in terms of x, y, z, it means that the parallel plane must also have the form ax plus by plus cz, but the right-hand side will then be equal to some other constant f. And we can then go on to find the equation of this parallel plane by substituting the relevant point on the plane in to find f. So to apply this in practice, let's look at finding the equation of the plane parallel to the plane 2x minus y plus 4z equals 15, passing through the point 1, 3, negative 2. So here the normal vector to both our planes can be written in the form n equal to, and in this case it will be 2i minus j plus 4k. And hence, as before, it then follows that therefore the parallel plane could be written with left-hand side 2x minus y plus 4z equal to some constant f. And then to find that constant f, we would then substitute in the point on the plane. So since our point was 1, 3, negative 2, that means x equals 1, y equals 3, z equals negative 2 into this equation, which will give us 2 times 1 minus 3 for the y plus 4 times negative 2 equal to the constant f. And this then works out to be f is equal to 2 minus 3 minus 8, which is equal to negative 9. Therefore, for the parallel plane, the equation of that can be written in the form 2x minus y plus 4z is equal to negative 9. And the only other thing to note is that if you were to multiply that equation through by a constant, non-zero constant, that would also give an equivalent and also correct form of the equation of the plane. So, for instance, it could be written in the form 20x minus 10y plus 40z equals negative 90 or any other multiple of that equation. 